Welcome into the ACC Network studios alongside 12 year NFL vet Trevor Maddich. I'm Justin Walters. Trevor, I feel like we should just breathe because my heart rate is at an all time high right now. All right. Yeah. Just, yeah, well, don't breathe now. <laughs> just be excited. <laughs> what did we just Enjoy see? Enjoy the hyperventilation because that is one of the greatest games I've ever seen in my life. Truly. So, let's go to the final seconds. You have a Hail Mary toss from Kyron Drones. Did you believe it was a catch? I thought that it was not a catch because in order for it to be a catch, the receiver has to have firm control of the ball when he hits the ground and threw the catch on the ground. The defense was stripping at the ball as Felton was coming down and as he was on the ground, and I never saw a, a secure frame of that video where the ball was secured and that's the thing that worries me when it comes to Virginia Tech that's why I thought while they were going over it in the replay booth I thought it was going to be reversed there are so many layers of this game we're going to be speaking to Cam Ward one of the heroes having a Heisman moment for Miami but let's stick with this catch because what was really unfair to me is I was watching the game and you saw the referees from their vantage point they called it a touchdown and I thought that if they they were able to call it a touchdown. It looked really dicey as you were viewing the play. The ball and all those hands are mixed up there with Daquan Felton that I'm not sure if they were going to be able to overturn it. Did you think that in some ways that was a tough position to put the refs in knowing that they called a touchdown initially on the play? I think it was so close. And we saw with the replay booth going frame by frame, that's 1 30th of a second at a time. I think live they could have called it either way. But the thing that's important there is that when they called it a touchdown on the field, then the replay had to be indisputable video evidence to overturn it. If they just couldn't tell if it was a catch or not, then they couldn't overturn it. They must have left it a touchdown according to the rule. But the reason they overturned it is that the replay booth said that we have indisputable video evidence that the receiver did not possess the ball securely when he came down. A phenomenal victory by Miami. Let's welcome in one of the heroes of the game, Cam Ward. Have yourself a day. I'm not sure, Cam, how much breathing you've been able to do and just to process this victory, but congrats on a thrilling win. Cam, speak about the resiliency and grit that you were able to see from your team tonight. Walk me through just what you were able to witness as that final seconds were unfolding with your cousin, Kyron Drones. Go. Uh, it was good. It's about time we got one of them games. Uh, you know, both sides of the ball came with it. I gave up a couple points. Um, but I got to say, to play the game, go to my boy X. When that boy fell and still caught the ball, and that boy Zay, you know, when I got hit on the throw and he came and uh, secured the catch on the 50. So uh, those two guys, they showed up. You know, both sides of the ball showed up. We went in the locker room at halftime, had a conversation, and, you know, the rest of business. Okay, husband, you, bro. <laughs> you talk about <laughs> Xavier Restrepo right there. That was the fourth and three on the game-winning touchdown drive. When you release that ball, Walk us through what you saw in terms of what the receiver was doing and then what you saw as that ball was in the air. Uh, we, ran, we ran a little uh, return route. Um, it worked for us in the first half, so we knew it was going to work again. Uh, but I, I seen that he slipped out of my throat, so I kind of lofted it a little bit. I didn't drill on him. And, you know, he made plays like that in practice. I mean, that play right there, that wasn't nothing what he made in practice. So, you know, I just do my job. I put the ball in play, but I got to be better protecting the ball next week. Cam, I love you giving a shout-out to your boy X, but how about that play that you hooked up with Riley Williams? Walk us through that as you shed it to defenders and then tossed it out to him out of a moment of desperation. Uh, this is all God. Uh, you know, he put me in this position. Um, I'm the best player in the country. I, I have, I'm humbly saying that, and I'm confident saying that. I put myself in a situation like this. This is why I came to Miami, to play with a good offense and a good defense, and both sides of the ball showed up today. I'm not sure if you know this, Cam, but Patrick Mahomes tweeted out after that play, that was a crazy play. What's your reaction to that? Appreciate that, Patty Mill. You know, I got his Texas voice. <laughs> Cam, you say you're the best player in the country. A lot of people agree with you. From your perspective, why are you the best player in the country? Just the work that I put in individually. Um, you see also the work that we put in as a team. Me and the White House, we watching tape every week. We watching games twice, three times over and over in the, in the film room. So, you know, Coach Dawson and the, and the whole staff, offense staff, they put the, the offense in the best situation to get to get uh, successful. And, you know, we just, we just showed up 
when it mean when it meant when it meant the most. Um, you know, we went through a low myself. You know, having a fumble on the first drive, they throwing two books. Uh, so you know, I got to clean that up in the field room. I knew what they're gonna do um, on the on the first book. Uh, I threw it inside. Got to leave that outside his back shoulder. And the second one, uh, I knew the the corner's gonna fall off like they show on film, but I didn't throw a good ball. So you know, that's stuff that I can correct on myself. Uh, but at the end of the day, we stopped ourselves on offense. But it's a good thing because we know we got more games to go prove. You know, to ourselves, and you know, it's just a better opportunity that we get next week to go to Cal and try to get a win. Cam, last one here before we let you go. As they call a touchdown on the field in the final seconds, what are you doing as you wait for the refs to review that play? Are you praying? Or are you just taking a second to breathe? What is that process like? Shit, that was pain, man. Like, but I seen it. I, I was like, somebody got to be out of bounds. Uh, but I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy. You know, defense stepped up, made a play. They put Zay Hort out there to knock the ball down. You know, they came up big for us, and I'm just glad we got the win. Hey, man, go ahead and do your thing and go celebrate with your teammates. Appreciate it. Thank you. Whew, what a victory from Miami against Virginia Tech, the ACC opener. Miami has cruised past everyone. Virginia Tech coming into this matchup 2-2. Two and two. As we highlighted, we got Cousins playing against each other. Cam Ward against Kyron Drones. Who's the best quarterback in the extended family? Second quarter action. Miami up by seven. Cam Ward picked off. This is one of the few mistakes he had. That's right. He thought it was man coverage. It was. They had a pick play called, but they switched the coverage, and a different defensive back fell off in front of his intended receiver. And what was interesting is that a penalty was called. They reversed a touchdown. A few plays later, instead of it being 21-7, to it's 14-14. Basial Tootin was unstoppable in this game. He ran right through a tackle to get this 55-yard touchdown to answer Miami's touchdown. Second and 12 now. 14-14. Check out this block by Kyron Drones. We'd love to see this. Yeah, he sustains it, too. Hands inside. Deep, good base. I mean, that's a quality block. We see you, my guy. Jalen Lane, 20-yard touchdown. Cam Ward says, I got an answer for you. Down by 10. Ward, though, he's picked off again. Yeah, this time it seemed like a little bit of miscommunication between him and his receiver, Restrepo. Restrepo thought the ball was coming outside. Ward thought he would turn inside. And it's returned 77 yards. Cam, three turnovers in this game. He came into the game with just two turnovers. Everyone trying to mimic him with a celebration. But Cam, he has selected Amnesia, escapes the pocket, 17 yards to the crib. Miami, only down by three, 27 to 24. Go ahead, do your thing. Now to the fourth quarter, second and eight. Drone, he continues to step up when they needed him most. He made play after play to answer everything that Cam Ward did. He was extending the play, and then here's another example of him scrambling, almost getting sacked, but he hooks up with Aiden Green, Trevor. You know, some quarterbacks evade the rush like Godzilla. He evades the rush like Houdini. He's there, <laughs> then he's not. He's a ghost. And then on the other side, they also have a magician. It's back and forth between these cousins. It's a good feeling in that household. Under 11 minutes to go, second down, same score. Ward finds Samuel Brown for a big game. Miami is not giving up now. Second and goal. Ward is going to hook up with an eight-year tight end. Cam McCormick, he's been there for a long time. He's been there forever, I think. You know, he's, he's had so many injuries earlier in his career. It's so good to see him come back and excel like this. How did this happen? That's what Not one but two, and then he hooks up with Riley Williams, stiff arms him, and then he escapes for more. Okay, Heisman moment, right? Where two guys had him, and he slipped both of those sacks and still got the ball to his playmaker. You had Patrick Mahomes tweeting about this. That was a crazy play. One of the best compliments you received from the best quarterbacks right now in the NFL. Riley Williams sets up a very manageable play so they can punch it into the end zone. Here's the next play. Ward finds Isaiah Horton for the touchdown. Too easy. Miami back in front. They were down by 10. And after all the drama, especially on that last drive, they make an easy play for the go-ahead touchdown. And here's a play that everyone's going to talk about, touchdown or no touchdown. They called it initially a touchdown, but it's overturned. It had to be indisputable video evidence. So if the officials weren't quite sure, they would have had to have left it a touchdown because that was the original call on the field. I think this was a good reversal by the officials. Game over, Miami victorious. They are 5-0. and oh. The ball is still the moving, moving there. And they go back yeah. to further review, 38-34, to 34, the final score. Cam Ward 
five total touchdowns. They're five and zero, oh, the first time since 2017. Let's go back to what you was the you was able to do because everyone's been speaking. Is the you back? What impressed you most about this victory? Their resilience, because in their first drive, Cam Ward fumbled the ball, and Virginia Tech took it in for a touchdown, and then they had an interception in the first quarter, and Cam Ward took him down to score a touchdown. So the, the thing is, the interception by Cam Ward, touchdown by Virginia Tech, and then Cam Ward and Miami took it down and answered. So those initial mistakes early on, Virginia Tech was gathering momentum, and Miami kept on answering those. And then there was an interception that was returned 77 yards all the way down to the red zone, and Virginia Tech was going to attempt a field goal. They faked it instead. Fantastic special teams play by Miami to tackle it short on fourth down. And then what does Miami do? They take it down. They score a touchdown. And so it was the answers that Miami had that impressed me the most. Disappointing loss for Virginia Tech. They fought in this. At least the good news coming out of it. You played against one of the best teams in the country close, and you're only 0-1 in the ACC. But still, phenomenal victory. My heart is still at a all-time high. Man, I need to breathe a little bit more, Trevor. But ACC PM, I can't wait to hear what Packer has to discuss about this. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you catch him. Taylor Tannenbaum, Lugs with his superhero breakdown. I know he's going to have a lot to say about those final seconds in that Hail Mary, as well as myself on Wednesdays and Thursdays, ACC PM. Still to come on this edition of ACC Huddle, what a scene it was last year for the Cardinals and Jack Harlow. They were flying first class against Notre Dame. We dive into some week five picks to Louisville make it two in a row. Shout out to the ACC Huddle. Cards, 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 c